Alright, hi guys, this is Daniel Zinkraff from Zebros Archery. I'm going to show you one of the most complicated ways to set up your Pro Optic light kit. A lot of people have been having questions on how you set up a no thread LED module. So you'll need a no thread LED module for, you know, a um, some Sherlock, CBE, Viper. Um, you know some classic scopes are going to need this so this is the way I set it to sure fire way to set it up that way you know you're never going to have problems with your your fiber tube coming out never have problems with your LED module light coming out or your connector coming out and you just remember the more moving parts the harder it is to keep it together so you're going to need a few things for this task and this is what I a lot of people will tell you you can super glue this fiber tube in to the ha the LED housing like this and you just super glue it in and it, yeah it'll stay it'll stay but it, through a process of time it's going to vibrate we get a lot of vibration on our bows we take that for granted um, but that's why I use what I use so you'll need two clamps epoxy a razor blade. I generally like to use an X-Acto knife or just a straight, a straight edge razor. But today I have a, a box cutter, just because I know it's more commonly known uh, and and it's more readily accessible to the end user. You also need some Q-tips or some type of stirring stick. But remember, it needs to be a, a smaller stirring stick. Okay, so this is what we need to do here. What I do is I get my epoxy here, I open it up, and I, and I pour out the, the parts that I need to mix. Uh, of course, with any epoxy, you're going to have to stir it up. You're going to have to ma make sure it's mixed properly. You'll start this particular epoxy and most epoxies, you can kind of see the chemical reaction in the epoxy, especially if it's clear. You're going to want to wait until it's really clear or milky, depending on what epoxy you're using. That's what, that's the way you know it, it's starting to set up and take effect. Okay, so now that I have that all mixed up, this is what I I do, and I'm doing all this in real time for y'all guys at home to so that you know it's it's an easy process. You just have to figure out how to do it. So the the LED connector on the back of this no thread is right here then you have your regular cable right here you connect it straight on just like this Then you put the 45 on or the 90 sorry okay you get a couple of these connector covers or here um, screw cap covers what I do is I cut mine down. They don't need to be that long because as you can see there's not enough room for that and your clamp. So you're gonna need to cut it down. So what I do is I cut probably you know a third maybe a quarter of it off and try not to cut yourself. It's very sharp blade. So this is what I do. Now, of course, when you're doing it, you're gonna to wanna to make it a nice, cleaner cleaner cut. You know, just take your, your razor blade and, and cut off all these little knobs and stuff. Make it a real nice, clean cut. That way it can mount really nice against your, your clamp. So I put it up like this. And this is the way I've installed it on majority of the pro the pros that shoot the no thread, this is how I send it to them set up because it is just so, it's it's a lot easier and it's a lot, you know, just a lot better. So you have your clamp here, right? You install the clamp after you install this, this black cap, you have your clamp here, just like that. That's how it's gonna sit on the top of your CBE site, which I happen to have one here already set up. This is my older brother John's uh, sight light and a sight set up and it's set up the exact same way. You see? Okay, so 
you remove this little clamp. I, we, you're just kind of doing that to test fit the, if the cap length is actually long enough or not. So next, what I do is I, I put in, just I put a little, little, little bit of the epoxy around this actual fiber here. Fiber tube, excuse me. And you install it in the actual LED housing. Now, keep in mind you're going to want to rotate it back and forth to get that friction fit into the, the LED housing. See, and you already have your, your epoxy down there um, securing it to the surface. But what I like to do is I like to dome this epoxy up like this. Pretty good, you know, to keep, make sure that we have enough, you know, mating surface between the actual fiber tube and the LED housing. Now, of course, you're going to want to let this cure. You're going to want to let it sit upright like this and let it cure for a good amount of time before you um, mount it on the bow. Uh, this one is, is like four to eight hours cure time. You can get others like through Gorilla Glue or something like that where it will set up and dry in less than an hour. Um, that's a good way to go. Uh, me personally, and y'all don't have to do this, um, but just to just because I like things very, very solid. When I set this up, I go ahead and, and grab the clamp and I clamp it down like this with my fingers and then I take this, this epoxy and I drop it down into the, the clamp like this. Now y'all don't have to do this. I, I personally like to do it because it's a, a surefire way to keep it the clamp very tight on, on the LED housing and it keeps that wire, uh, it's a strain, it's more strain relief for the wire. Now you're going to want to put this, probably mount this on your scope or some way to keep this clamp pinched shut until all this dries. As you can see, you can put the, the, the clamp right here on CVE. It's awesome because they, they give you a, a screw just to have it installed. It's, it's perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little, a little um, Q-tip here and, and let it hold it like that and let it dry before I, I do any more with it. Okay guys, so on this model right here on this CV small site, we didn't really like it hanging out the back over here. We didn't like it hanging way out here, especially without the sunshade. It just didn't look very good. So what we decided to do is we're like, well, uh, CB apparently had us in mind because they, they had a, a screw hole already pre-drilled here, at almost at the right, you know, hole size for a 832 screw. So what we did is uh, we just went ahead and tapped this front hole here and we install the screw to bring it more forward this way. Um, it makes it easier for the fiber tube and the fiber and everything to get installed. Uh, that's just something we chose to do. Um, so after you install the actual clamp on the bow and you have the fiber tube right here, the fiber tube on the bow, and it's hanging, of course, clearly from your epoxied LED housing, you're going to want to run it down to the bottom of the actual uh, scope and there's going to be a hole that CV has here. It's going to be right behind the pin. That's where you're going to run in the fiber tube. So it's going to be kind of an extreme bend so keep in mind that you're going to have a fiber in there so don't don't bend it too hard and crack that fiber then your light distribution is not going to be very very good at all. So what I like to do is I keep this fiber tube out of here. I keep it quite a, quite a ways out here like this. Like if this is a fiber tube here, I keep it a ways out, right? And I run my fiber through my, through my pin here and down into that hole. Sorry, I got it the wrong way. Through the pin there. 
and I run it through the pin and then down through that hole. And then, of course, naturally, you're gonna have your fiber tube hanging out and you thread that fiber and the fiber tube all in one motion up into here. And then what I do, just being the guy I am, I like to everything just really hard mounted. I put a little dab of uh, the my leftover epoxy right here. Now, you, most of this epoxy, because it is so hard, you're probably going to be better off uh, later on, you know, using a harder epoxy because you can just crack it off. Uh, you know, you can take your fingernail, take a harder object and just pull on that and it's going to crack off and it's going to crack off clean where your scope isn't, you know, hurt or anything like that. Um, and that's the best way to go. What I do, I like to tuck this fiber very, very close to the, because I don't like a lot of fiber you know fiber tube or fiber dancing around there so I keep it very close to the housing and then up and in now the tubing and all that will be included in in your kit if you order one with a no thread LED housing alright guys well I think that's it uh, if you have any questions please feel free to uh, contact me through the website or call me on my uh, mobile phone at 830-998-9276.